Hello Gemini, welcome to your April monthly reading. This is going to be for Gemini Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs and additional placements and cross watchers are welcome. This is Amy from Syrian House of Tarot. Welcome to my channel. <clears throat> Before we begin, I just want to give my quick disclaimer. This is just going to be a general reading, so please take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Don't try to make anything fit that does not. Check your moon, rising, Venus signs for additional messages coming through or to get a comprehensive overview of all messages meant for you at this time. And last but not least, please do not make any life-altering decisions based off of a general reading because not all the informations or energies will be available since we're dealing with a wide collective of energies. So if you're looking for something tailored to your situation, please do get a private reading. And for me, that information is in the detail box down below. Okay, Gemini. Let's go ahead and just jump right into your reading. I went ahead and pulled intuitively some oracle cards to get the reading started, and then we're going to take a look at what is coming in for you energy-wise for the month of April and what is leaving in the month of April. We'll get clarifiers as needed. And last but not least, if there is any additional information that needs to be gathered, we'll take a, a gander at a Celtic cross just to get a little more feel for energy. But um, most of my readings have been really complete with the first two segments, so I do anticipate that to continue, but we'll see what comes out with your reading. Okay, so the first oracle card coming through is from the Oracle of Fairies, and it's saying, ask for help. Angels are celestial beings who protect everyone, and the fairies say now is the time for you to ask for angelic, angelic assistance. So this is something that, you know, I feel like you are, you know, some of you may have already been asking for answers or asking for, um, for help from the angels. Some of you are being guided to seek um, guidance from angels and others. So you, this could be indicating, you know, asking for help um, from a family member, from a friend, from a trusted confidant. So what else coming through? We had two cards here. Home, Vista, home, your household situation is improving either through a move or a healthy change in the occupants so the, i feel like this is the energy kind of picking up on what, what we're all at right now kind of in a standstill and we have independent your independence is a foundation for your strength and success very interesting gemini for some of you, you know, you could be inserting your independence at this time, and maybe in relation to a home dynamic or a family dynamic. For some of you, um, others of you, I just feel like dude, this is a, this is definitely a time where we're getting to test our independence. All right, we have to take a leap of faith into the unknown. Beautiful card here. And don't be afraid of losing someone who doesn't want you. Okay, so what I'm getting from these two cards is one, you know, I'm getting the sense I, I would take a leap of faith into the unknown, that um, in the, the independence and ask for help. Some of you are really trying to break free from a relationship where maybe somebody has not been very good to you. Um, this won't apply for all of you, but this is some of you. Maybe asking for help because you're stuck in a situation that you may be afraid of getting out of, which may be taking that leap of faith into the unknown. Sometimes the unknown can scare us more than a situation that we know is not healthy for us. So if that is your situation, you're being guided to you know ask for help. For others of you, you know this could be a situation where you've been investing your energy in the wrong places and you know into, into or on somebody or peoples that um, aren't really the best for you. It doesn't not, it doesn't seem like they're returning your um, energy back to you in any type of regard. It's like it's a, I, I get the sense of a one way. Um, direction here, like all of it's coming out from you. Excuse me, <clears throat> and nothing's coming in from them, and you know, and some of you may be or have been dependent on this situation, and this could, again could be speaking about you know asserting your independence, breaking free, so that you can be successful. 
All right, let's take a look at the romance angels and see what all is coming through for you. Oh yeah, we have chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. Beautiful. We have past life relationship. You have known each other before. And stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Okay, so automatically the first things that are coming to my mind to that first script that I spoke to, where maybe you're afraid of getting out of a situation um, because you don't know what is waiting for you ahead. And this message is really, really telling me that there is somebody coming into your life that you have known in a past life or you have, or this could be somebody from your past that you have very strong chemistry with. But it is going to require you to be positive in your thinking and to move out of the situation so that this beautiful new thing can come in. For others of you, this, you know, it's not dealing with this situation, um, specifically when it comes to love. What I'm picking up on is there is somebody who is waiting to come in or it has came in, but you have been hesitant because you are afraid of getting hurt. And um, this is like the, the chemistry between you may even be scaring you a little bit because it's going to be very, very strong. And, you know, this is telling you to be optimistic, to look on the bright side of things um, and have faith because this is the romance that you have been waiting for. All right, awesome. So that is your four of cards for April. Very interesting indeed. Let's take a look at what's coming in. I have already shuffled all the decks, pre, pre shuffled them that we're going to be using today. Let's take a look here. Gemini, what's coming in for you? We have. The Princess of Summer, gentle, sensitive, kind, and experience. A new relationship or emotional experience. Invitation to social events. A compassionate friend you can share your concerns with. This is a very beautiful card. This could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. It doesn't have to be. This could be the start of a new relationship for some of you, which we were seeing for others of you. This is that somebody that you can ask for help, that you can share your concerns with. It's going to help guide you um, through this. Very nice. And I get this sense this could be, you know, some of you, this could be a younger person. doesn't have to be, though. <clears throat> what else is coming in for you? The world. A brilliant success. The freedom to go in any direction, a journey that is now complete. So this is an ending of an old cycle, beginning of the new. And it's going to be a successful <clears throat> new beginning for uh, most of you. This is your freedom. This is freedom for you to break, break free from toxic ties and really move forward. You know, be optimistic and go on that fool's journey. Take that leap of faith in that new direction because the universe is supporting you. The chariot. I love it. The card of cancer coming out here. And what it says is, success that comes from dedication and self-discipline. Celebrate your accomplishments and being in the spotlight. So this is definitely forward movement. Quick forward movement at that. This is you know, finally deciding what you want, knowing exactly which direction to go and to get it. This is move forward moving quick with a purpose. Love it. And finally, we have the Ten of Summers. An emotionally fulfilling life with family or friends, raising children wisely, people you can trust. Beautiful card again. And this is that Ten of Cups. Um, it's that overflowing, beautiful emotions here. This is, you know, that universal abundance of joy, happiness, and bliss. This is, you know, having that emotionally fulfilling purpose, life, love. Um, and again, it's, it, for some of you, this is bringing in people that you can trust to help you. Again, could be a water sign, doesn't have to be. So let's take a look now at what is leaving for you in the month of April, the Nine of Springs. Protect the fruits of your labor. Prepare for possible challenges that lie ahead. Environmental conservation. Okay, so what I'm getting from that already is, you know, for some of you, you really have had to be very protective in order to protect yourself. And I feel like that energy is departing. 
um, possible challenges that lies ahead. I, I feel like, you know, getting prepared for them. I think you're ready to face them, whatever challenges that are coming your way. And you know, the environmental conservation, I know I said that wrong before, but the environmental conservation is really, you know, kind of where we all have been, kind of stuck at home, not being able to really do much of anything. But, you know, this is, you know, the nine of wands, that's that protective energy. So I feel like, you know, that's kind of dissipating this month. What else is leaving? Three of winners. Reach out to others for comfort and love. You will grow stronger with the situation, sadness that will heal with time. So this is, you know, that heartbreak, that pain. This is the three of swords. This is a depiction here as the three of winner. And what I'm getting from that is, you know, that, that energy of feeling like, you know, you're never going to heal. This is going to continuously keep you stuck and heartbroken and just feeling raw. That is going to be part and you're going to see hope in the situation because you have people that are coming in to help comfort you to help get you through this situation, to help you grow stronger and move forward. And you, I notice this is here with the world. So you know, this is definitely completion of that energy, of that heartbreak, that pain, that, that rawness. Okay, so what else is departing? The Empress. The Divine Feminine Energy here, but the time to take action, the power of creativity, success that allows for a life of luxury. Um, what I feel for that is, you know, a lot of people are probably sitting there kind of raising an eyebrow because the Empress is a very strong, very passionate um, card. And what I'm getting is the sense for most of you, you maybe not have been, you know, harnessing your feminine, divine feminine power. I see weakness in that area, but I feel like that's the part that's de like departing. Is you not standing in this, this energy, not standing in this power? I feel like... With this chariot, because you're right, it's mean it's right underneath this chariot. I feel like you're harnessing that power. You're harnessing all the energy of the creation and the you know the fertility, the be able to create new things, beautiful things. I feel like you're 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 harnessing that power um, in the month of April. So the the weakness, the 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 you know sitting. I, I feel like like I get the uh, the sideline. You're not going to be sidelined anymore. You're going to take control with this Empress energy and move that chariot. All right, and last but not least, we have the Three of Springs. Plan your next steps with the eye to the long term. Have patience. There's more good things to come. Satisfactory from a job well done. Three of Wands here. <clears throat> okay, so what I am um, getting from that is you know, this is, you know, you actually have planned. I, there's no more planning, period. Most of you have planned out exactly what you want, exactly where you need to go, and you're moving forward. You know, some of you may be getting that news. Um, the, the good things are coming to you, but I, I feel with the chariot and the empress and the world and the ten of cups, you're not going to sit around and wait for something to fall in your lap anymore. I feel like you're, you're, you're going to take control. I don't feel like most of you are going to be sitting around waiting for something to come to you. I feel like you're going to go and get it. Most of you are going to go and get it, and it's going to be successful. All right, overall energy here, we have the Prince of Autumn, dependable, protective, chivalrous, humorous. Caution, but wise action. Meticulous attention to detail, kindness to others. This is Earth energy. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. doesn't have to be, but I feel like this is going to be, you know, either somebody coming in that is going to help you um, take careful action and help you move this forward again. I feel like there's multiple people that possibly be, could be coming in for some of you, but this could also be, you know, your energy. You're going to be moving forward, but you're going to be paying very close attention to every single detail. You're still going to be kind. Um, you're not going to be, you know, Queen of Swords energy, which is ironic because I could see you being, um, Gemini, I could see you being the Queen of Swords, but I can, it's more on overall, you know, here at the, um, I see you just, you know, being kind, but saying I I've had enough and moving forward. So, and then the hidden energy here, we have the Four of Spring. Be grateful. You have much to celebrate. Be feelings of peace and happiness, a content personal life. So where I'm feeling like things were always, you know, kind of up in the air, really rocky for you. And I'm getting underneath of that confusion. Some of you may have been confused and not really seeing things clearly. Uh, I feel like that's clearing up. 
and you know, the hidden energy is definitely peace and happiness at this time. So, and, and you know, taking that into consideration, Gemini, you, know, you have a beautiful, you have beautiful things, and, and definitely peace waiting for you um, on that chariot. You just have to go after it. All right, so let's get some clarifications just to get a little bit deeper into these energies. Just kind of clarify them a little bit. All right, Spirit Team, can you please clarify the cards on the table for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, please? Okay, cards do not want to cooperate. Do that one. There we go. Thank you. Yeah, the first card coming through is the Wheel of Fortune. So this is definitely divine timing, divine at work. This is the wheel turning in your favor. This is bringing in good luck and destiny. And, you know, sometimes we don't always see these things as blessings when they first are happening because they can kind of turn things chaotic for some of you. I do feel like for some of you, this is going to be a water sign here with the Princess of Summer because there, this, that's is essentially the Page of Cups. You know, this is, somebody's coming in here, and this is, you know, meant to be. This is definitely meant to be. This person is was sent to you. All right, so why is the world here? Why is the world here for Gemini? Sun, moon, rising, Venus, please. Why is the world here? Please show me clearly. Precisely. Thank you. Page of Pentacles, the Four of Cups. Okay. So what I'm getting is, you know, there for some of you, you may have been dealing with issues with stability with this Page of Pentacles, but there's something solid and new and sturdy coming through. And I want to say we have, you know, we got the page of, of pentacles up here with the Prince of Autumns as well. So, you know, this is somebody that's coming in to provide, to provide stability. And the other card that popped out was this Four of Cups. And, you know, what I'm getting from the Four of Cups and is dissatisfaction, unhappiness, you know, being bored, discontented, not even, you know, remotely interested in continuing the same path. And I feel like, you know, for some of you, you've been dealing with a lot of conflict and getting arguments and bitterness and just, you know, chatter, a lot, a lot of chatter, people talking, rumors, gossiping, just low energy vibrations here. And I feel like that is one thing that you are just done with, finished with. You're, you're knowing that the universe is bringing you. Like, I feel like some of you have that that, inner, that intuitive feeling that the universe is bringing something new in for you. Something that's, maybe you mean if you don't even intuitively know, you just know that you deserve better than this. And you're not really, you know, you're, you're kind of sitting back at this point in time, Gemini, with your arms crossed. You know, it's like in this depiction going, I'm just not participating in any more of this garbage. Man, you know the universe is bringing in something new and wonderful in this cup. Beautiful. All right. So what is this chariot? What is this chariot energy? Thank you. And yeah, look at this. The emperor. The divine masculine energy here. So for some of you, you may be dealing with an Aries. Some of you may be dealing with your divine masculine. And um, mass, female, male, it doesn't matter. We all have masculine feminine energy within us. So feel free to take it as it resonates for you. My, this is you taking action towards this person or this person taking action towards you and the month of, uh, yeah, for a new opportunity and stability for some of you because you're looking to your future. I love this. But, you know, some of you, this could be a fire sign, a Leo, an Aries, a Sagittarius. That's Aries. This is Sagittarius here. And this is Cancer. But, this is moving, this is taking action, this is moving towards your divine masculine energy. And this is, you know, having a new opportunity or towards for a new opportunity. What is this? Yeah. So right now you're at a crossroads. And look here. But the universe is telling you the cycle is complete with the world. It's complete. It's done. All right. So why is this ten of summer here? What is this time of summer for Gemini? 
What is this time of summer coming in in the month of April for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus? Let's clarify this. Thank you. Yeah. The Three of Wands. Absolutely focused on your future. You're looking ahead to what is going to bring you the emotional fulfillment. What is going to, you know, who the people you can trust, the love that you're going to gather. You want that emotional flow, flow of overflowance of bliss, of joy, of happiness in your life. You want that whole package. And you're looking towards your future and how you're going to be able to reap that. What is going to be worth investing in for potential growth and reward? Yeah. And a passion in your beginning. Something that's going to reunite the passion in your life is what I'm getting. All right. So let's clarify now, Spirit Team, what is leaving the energies that are departing for our sweet Gemini here for the month of April? Thank you. The King of Wands. <laughs> Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. That just popped out there. Some of you may be dealing with that. But that's, again, taking charge. Some of you need to take charge, take control, be the leader, be the boss. I feel like a lot of you have this really charismatic personality. People will follow you. You just have to be in control of yourself. You need to lead, not follow, Gemini. All right, so clarify this Nine of Springs, please, for me. Why does this Nine of Springs for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, please? Nine of Springs for Gemini. Thank you. The Knight of Cups. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You want somebody that's going to sweep you off your feet. That's going to be your... Your knight in shining armor, or, you know, queen, princess, you know, something that's going to be worth celebrating. Something, maybe even reconciliation, but you definitely are not going to protect, you don't have to protect yourself anymore. This is marching forward towards love, towards, you know, emotional fulfillment and happiness. You're moving in that direction towards something that's going to make you happy. Yeah, you're leaving behind the crossroads. What is the three of winners for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus? What is the three of winners here for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus? And the Empress. the six of wands at the bottom or six of swords excuse me at the bottom of the deck i don't know why i said wands but you are leaving behind the energy of being heartbroken and pain and sadness and sitting in discontentment you are harnessing what i say that empress energy we have the emperor and the empress here so somebody here for a group of you you're moving towards your soul me your your twin flame, your divine partner, your spiritual connection. You're leaving behind any low vibrational, you know, pain, raw, sadness, heartbreak, you know, conflict. You're leaving that behind. You've learned a lot of lessons yet. You're going back towards a past person, which we've seen that with your past life, you know, energy. This is somebody you that you are soul you have soul ties to, soul connection. It's like another. It's like unlike any other connection you've ever felt before, and you're completely leaving that all behind. So, what is this Empress? What is this Empress energy leaving the month of April? What is this Empress energy leaving Gemini for the month of April? Please show me clearly. I definitely want just the right card. There it is. <laughs> the five of wands. Yeah. You have been sitting back. You've been dealing with deception. You could even been self-deceptive, Gemini. But you've been dealing with lies, manipulations, half-truths, sneaking around, trickery, adultery. You know, people 
out for themselves, conflict and garbage and rumors and, you know, I feel like you have, been, you know, kind of been sitting back and you're not going to be doing that anymore. You're not going to have to look over your shoulders because you're going to follow your intuition. You're going to work on a plan or you already are worked on a plan if I get how to get to your Ten of Cups because you're looking towards that future and you're leaving that conflict this, this card of yuck, and this is my card of yuck. I, I, this card is just so nasty. This can be, you know, represent guilt and shame for some of you. Leaving that behind, conflict, internal conflict, harnessing your empress energy here. But, uh, you're leaving that behind. You're done with that. So, what do we have with the three of spring? What is this three of spring? The full. There you have it. And the three of spring, again, plan your next steps with an eye to the long term. Have patience. There's more good things to come. Satisfaction from a job well done. And I said, I feel like you've already made your plan. Like you know exactly what your next move is going to be. And the next move is going to be is taking that leap of faith into the unknown towards a partnership that's going to be your soul tight, soul mate, twin flame coming together as above as is below this is true true love coming forth this is a partnership you know even if it's not in love this you new know, soulmates can represent so many different levels this can be you know somebody that you are so close to from your past or you had a past life connection that just you know an incredible bond this person is coming in and to help you to guide you to strengthen you to lift you up where you are weak so you know and vice versa as you will do for them because there is this incredible connection but it, in order to get to this incredible, incredible connection, it requires taking that leap of faith and leaving behind that this low vibrational field of people and these low players that have yet not awakened or ascended who's been holding you back, has been kind of mentally keeping you, yeah, look, holding you back. I, I love this. I love the story when, when Spirit tells it because they're, they're not allowing you to move forward towards your destiny, towards your goal. Things haven't been equal or balanced for you. And there you are. There you are in your glory, Gemini. Coming through as the King of Swords. The King of Swords makes logical and, and analytical decisions, not emotional. They step away from the emotions. They step far away from the emotions to get to where they need to be. But, uh, that is what is coming in for you. And I really, again, you know, just like with the other readings, like I think I pushed through for cancer and a couple other ones, the Celtic Crosses, and it was just repeated energy. I don't feel with this reading that I absolutely need to do the Celtic Cross. I think it's all here. The guidance that you need is to, you know, really let go of that low vibrations and, you know, not be afraid to harness your fear and put it into you know, hope and let that be your fuel that drives you forward with that chariot towards your destiny, towards your goals, to your dreams, towards your aspiration, to your happiness, there, to your ten of cups. Because there is something very strong, very loving waiting for you. And there are people coming in, Gemini, to help you with this journey. All right, that is it. Let me know in the uh, comments below if this resonated with you. Please stay safe and healthy out there. If you have not yet done so, give a like to the video and subscribe so you can get your energies intermixed here. Best way to get through. And otherwise, I will see you next time. Remember to live in light and love, not just today, but every day. Bye for now.